Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a contest, an intra-district contest between the Blue Valley North Mustangs and the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from Blue Valley North. I'm James and I'm a sophomore. I'm Emmeline and I'm a junior. I'm Jesse and I'm a senior. I'm Ganesh, I'm a freshman. I'm Neeraj and I'm a senior. And our competitors from Blue Valley Northwest. I'm Crystal and I'm a senior. I'm Andrew and I'm a junior. I'm Dan and I'm a sophomore. I'm Aslan and I'm a senior. I'm Alec and I'm a sophomore. Fantastic. And both teams here on categories in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a, if a team does respond incorrectly, another team will get a chance to steal that point. Here we go. We did a coin toss before we started uh, the game, and it was won by Northwest. So Huskies, you do get the first question, and it is science, specifically chemistry. Name the elements in period one of the periodic table. Aslan? Alkali metals. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Mustangs, science, chemistry is the category. Name the elements in period one of the periodic table. Emmeline. Hydrogen and helium. Those are the two we are looking for. You do get the next category, Mustangs, and it is vocabulary in regards to the law. This term applies to any law that specifies the time limits during which legal action... Jesse? Statute of limitations. It is, statute of limitations. Huskies, next category belongs to you and it is current events. What is the name of the resulting meteor showers of the Earth's annual passage through the debris of Halley's Comet? This happened to take place last weekend. Blue Valley North, chance to steal this current event question. What is the name of the resulting meteor showers of the Earth's annual passage through the debris of Halley's Comet? The Orionid, Orionid meteor showers. Mustangs, you do get the next category. It is fine arts sculpture. Modeling is the ad additive process of sculpting. What is the reductive process called? Emmeline. Relief. Can I accept relief? Huskies, chance to steal this fine arts sculpture question. Modeling is the additive process of sculpting. What is the reductive? Crystal. Carving. Carving is correct. You do get the next category, Huskies, and it is a general knowledge. The bulk of street traffic in Beijing consists of what type of vehicle? Crystal. Bikes. Bikes, correct. Mustangs, U.S. geography, landmarks to be specific is your category. From 1879 to 1883, it was a warehouse, then a dry goods store. In 1905, it was purchased and donated to the Daughters of Texas. Name this historic structure. Ganesh? The Alamo. Pardon me? The Alamo. The Alamo? Alamo. Yeah, Alamo. yeah, we'll accept that. <laughs> Huskies, you have the uh, next category, it is art. Museums. You'll find two major art museums, the Fog and the Sackler, at what Ivy League university? Dan. Harvard. Harvard, correct. Mustangs, next category, U.S. history. In the heat of the moment, what man's assassin cried, Six Semper Tyrannus? Ganesh. Abraham Lincoln's assassin? Abraham Lincoln's is correct. Huskies, language, specifically the French language, is your category. Mesa, the Spanish word for table, is used to designate a small, flat tableland with steep sides. Now identify the French word for broad or flat, used for an elevated tract of usually level land. Crystal. Plateau? Plateau is correct. Blue Valley North, you have the next category. It is a U.S. government courts. District courts are the state trial courts. 
What is the name for federal trial courts? Jesse. Uh, federal circuit courts. I cannot accept circuit courts. Huskies, you have a chance to steal this government courts category. District courts are the state trial courts. What's the name for federal trial courts? Alec. Federal appeals court. Cannot accept appeals court either. We're looking for superior courts, superior courts. Huskies, you do get the next question. It is sports. Name the four Grand Slam tennis tournaments that are held each year. Mustangs, you have a chance to seal the sports category. Name the four Grand Slam tennis tournaments that are held each year. Neeraj. Wimbledon, the US Open, the Australian Open, and the French Open. Those are the four, very good. Mustangs, you have the next category, science anatomy. Canines, premolars, molars, and incisors. Put them in order from the back to the front of the mouth. James. Canines, premolars, molars, incisors. That is incorrect. Huskies, chance to steal this science anatomy category. Canines, premolars, molars, and incisors. Put them in order from the back to the front of the mouth. Andrew. Premolars, premolars, canines, incisors. That is the correct order. Good job. Huskies, you have the next category. It is history, specifically weapons. The French invented the world's first mechanized hand weapon about 1050 AD. What was it? Andrew. The crossbow. Crossbow, very good. Mustangs, vocabulary is your category. Archaeology is the study of past cultures. What nine-letter word beginning with E refers to the study of cultures of living peoples? Time on that. Huskies, chance to steal this vocabulary question. Archaeology is the study of past cultures. What nine-letter word beginning with E refers to the study of cultures of living peoples. Andrew. G. I'm sorry. Entomology. I cannot accept that. Eth ethnology is what we're looking for. Ethnology. You do get the next category, Huskies, and it is literature. Besides slaying dragons, Beowulf entered what kind of athletic contest? Andrew? Wrestling. That is not wrestling. Mustangs, chance to steal this literature category. Besides slaying dragons, Beowulf entered what kind of athletic contest? Swimming. Swimming. Mustangs, you have the next category. Music. Instruments is your category. This musical instrument has metal strings which are played by striking it with two small hammers. Or in southern Appalachia, it is a violin-shaped stringed instrument played by plucking it with a goose quill or wooden plectrum. Identify it. Ganesh? A banjo? It is not a banjo. Huskies, chance to steal this musical instrument's category. This musical instrument has metal strings which are played by striking it with two small hammers. Or in southern Appalachia, it is a violin-shaped string instrument played by plucking it with a goose quill or wooden plectrum. Dan. A dulcimer. It is a dulcimer. Huskies, you do get the next category, and it is a general knowledge. What is the name of a wooden statue in Troy which protected the... Crystal? A horse. I cannot accept the horse. Mustangs, chance to steal this general knowledge category. What is the name of a wooden statue in Troy which protected the city as long as it remained there? It was also in the name of a chemical element with the atomic number 46. What's... Jesse? Palladium. Palladium is correct. Mustangs, you do get the next category. It is current events. Name two of the three universities who hosted this year's presidential debates. Neeraj. Uh, Center College and Hofstra. I cannot accept that. I'm sorry. Huskies, you have a chance to steal this current events question. 
Name two of the three universities who hosted this year's presidential. Crystal. Center College and University of Miami. I cannot accept that either. I believe Center hosted the vice presidential debate. The three that hosted presidential debates were University of Denver, Hofstra University, and Lynn University were the three. You do get the next category, however, Huskies, and it is world history. Which Latin American country was one of OPEC's founders in 1960? Dan. Venezuela. Venezuela is correct. Blue Valley North, world geography is your category. The first European colony in which in the Western Hemisphere was established on this island that Columbus named for the nation sponsoring his voyage. What, what was this unfortunate colony of, let me start over. What was the name of this unfortunate colony of whose 300,000 inhabitants, one third were killed by Columbus's men? Time on that. Huskies, chance to steal this world geography category. The first European colony in the Western Hemisphere was established on, the, uh, on this island that Columbus named for the nation sponsoring his voyage. Dan. Hispaniola. Hispaniola is correct. And you've taken a bit of a lead here. Huskies have a score of nine to the Mustangs, six. Huskies, next category does belong to you, and it is vocabulary. This word starts with the prefix semi. It means highly viscous between solid and liquid. Mustangs, chance to steal this vocabulary question. This word starts with the prefix semi. It means highly viscous between solid and liquid. James. Semi-permeable. Cannot accept semi-permeable. We're looking for semi-fluid. Semi-fluid. Mustangs, you do get the next category, and it is literature. What nationality was the old man in The Old Man and the Sea? Jesse? American. He was not American. Huskies, chance to steal this literature category. What nationality was the old man in The Old Man and the Sea? Crystal? Spanish. He was not Spanish either, or neither. He was Cuban. He was Cuban. Huskies, you get the next category. It is math related to the field of geometry. What is the correct name for the angle formed when you add an obtuse angle to a right angle? Dan? Straight angle. Cannot accept straight angle. North, chance to steal this geometry question. What is the correct name for the angle formed when you add an obtuse angle to a right angle? Emmeline. Supplementary angle. Cannot accept supplementary angle. We're looking for reflex angle. Reflex angle. Mustangs, you do get the next category. It is U.S. geography. What city whose four-letter name... We'll finish this question. For you, Mustangs, U.S. geography. What city whose four-letter name begins with A can be found in Iowa, north of Des Moines? Neeraj. Ames. It is Ames. Very good. As we head into this halftime, we have a score of Blue Valley Northwest 9, Blue Valley North 7. At this time in our program, we go to representatives from each school to give us a campus update. And from Blue Valley North, we have James. James, what is happening with the Mustangs? Well, our girls golf team recently finished its season with second in regionals, and the girls tennis team got second in the state. Our theater department just finished its production of Midsummer Jersey and is doing auditions for the Drowsy Chaperone in November. And the theater department is also doing a food drive trick or treat so kids can eat for harvesters. Um, North had 14 National Merit semifinalists and 17 National Merit commended scholars last year, or for, for this year. And the Marching Mustang Band recently finished its season with a superior one rating in all of its competitions this year. Outstanding. Doing it on all fronts over there at Blue Valley North. All right, Blue Valley Northwest. Crystal, please give us an update of what's happening with the Huskies. Um, our marching band placed sixth at the Heart of America marching competition this weekend, and we got a one superior rating, and our glow show will be this weekend. Um, our chorale was one of four high schools chosen to perform at Carnegie Hall in New York next April, 
and this year we had 14 National Merit semifinalists, 12 commended, and one National Achievement Scholar. Wow. Do you guys have a rivalry or anything between schools? Because that's, that's some pretty good stuff going on with both schools there. Now tell me a little bit about, are, 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 any, member, are any of you a member of the, the choral group that's going to Carnegie Hall? Yeah. That, all right. Make sure you go to the Carnegie Deli when you go there. It's pretty good stuff. All right. Outstanding, great stuff from both schools. As we head into the second half here on categories, it is the lightning round in which a question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. If the team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they do not respond correctly, the other team does get a chance to steal the category. So both teams, here we go, both, uh, both teams, the category is sports. What does the white flag mean in a NASCAR race? I'm sorry, I cannot accept second to last lap. Mustangs, you have a chance to steal the sports category. What? I'm sorry, you got an issue. What? Caution. It is not caution. You're really close, Andrew. It signifies the last lap. The last lap. Both teams, here we go. Science, elements. There are three radioactive series in nature which have the names of three elements. Name any of the three. Emmeline. Radon. Can I accept radon? Huskies, chance to steal this science elements category. There are three radioactive series in nature which have the names of three elements. Name any one of them. Crystal. The lanthanide series. Cannot accept that. We were looking for uranium, thorium, or actininium. Music, terminology for both teams. From the Italian verb to sing, give the word in English used to name religious choral work. Jesse. Um, cantorial work. Cannot accept that. Sorry. Huskies, chance to steal this music terminology category. From the Italian verb to sing, give the word used in English to name a religious choral work. Dan. Liturgical. Cannot accept that either. We're looking for a cantata. Cantata. Economics for both teams. It's a fairly long question, so please listen to the details. A market structure characterized by a single firm supplying all the market's output is called a monopoly. A market structure characterized by a small number of relatively large firms who supply most of the market's output is called what? Jesse. Oligopoly. That is correct. General knowledge for both teams. Following in the footsteps of Isaac Newton, Stephen Hawking was named a Lucasian professor of mathematics at what university? Neeridge. Cambridge. Cambridge is correct. And with that response, you have evened up the score at nine apiece. Fine arts, painters for both teams. While many Impressionists brought Japanese qualities to their paintings, this artist revived... Crystal? Monet. It is not Monet. Mustangs, chance to steal this fine arts painter's question. While many Impressionists brought Japanese quantity, qualities to their paintings, this artist revived the Rococo style of such painters of Fragonard and Watteau. Among his paintings is Girl's Girl with a Watering Can. Name this French Impressionist. Jesse. Renoir. Yeah, that is correct. Ancient history for both teams. What happened to the Roman Empire in, three, uh, in 395, hastening its decline and fall? Ganesh? Uh, the Roman Empire split. That's, that's exactly what we're looking for. It's split in two. Both teams, a science elements is the category. Invertebrates. Iron acts as the main element around which the structure of hemoglobin is built. What metallic element plays a similar role in the structure of chlorophyll in plants? Crystal. Iron? It is not iron. Mustangs, chance to steal this elements category. In vertebrates, iron acts as the main element around which the structure of hemoglobin is built. What metallic element plays a similar role in the structure of chlorophyll in plants? Neeraj. Lead. It is not lead. It's magnesium. Magnesium. 
Geography, specifically flags, is the next category. Three horizontal stripes of blue, white, and blue. And the sun with a face. Nerge. Argentina. Argentina's flag, very good. Both teams, it's a spelling question. Please make sure you listen to the whole question. I accepted the wise counsel of the town council. The preceding sentence contains two words that sound the same. Spell the homonym that means advice. Crystal. C-O-U-N-S-E-L. That is correct. Fine arts, another painter's question for both teams. He was privately as combative as Muhammad Ali was publicly. He even signed his name in the form of a butterfly with the sting of a bee. Who was this 19th and 20th century American-born painter whose masterpiece hangs in the Louvre? James Whistler. James Whistler is what we were looking for on that one. Literature is the next question for both teams. This playwright died four months before Shakespeare's first publication, Venus and Adonis. Some suggest he faked his death and continued to write under Shakespeare's name. Name him. Dan. Ben Johnson. It is not Ben Johnson. Mustang's chance to steal this literature category. The playwright, this playwright died four months before Shakespeare's first publication, Venus and Adonis. Some su suggest he faked his death and continued to write under Shakespeare's name. Name him. Jesse. Christopher Marlowe. It is Christopher Marlowe. Very good. General knowledge for both teams. In bridge, you can take a trick with the highest card of the suit lead or the highest what? Aslan? Trump. Highest Trump. Very good. U.S. history for both teams. During World War I, what industrialist said he wanted to get the boys out of the trenches by Christmas and outfitted a peace ship to accomplish this task? Looking for Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Just a reminder on the score, Blue Valley Northwest 11, Blue Valley North 13. Science, geology for both teams. The increase in the Earth's temperature is called the thermal what? It's called the thermal gradient, thermal gradient. Fine arts, theater for both teams. In Arthur Miller's Death of a Salesman, Willie Loman had two sons, named them. Aslan. Biff and Happy. Biff and Happy, very good. World history for both teams. What was the largest country to declare war on Germany, Italy, and Japan on December 8th, 1941? Dan. The United States. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mustangs, chance to steal this world history category. What was the largest country to declare war on Germany, Italy, and Japan on December 8th, 1941? Ganesh. Yes. And it's not France, China. China is actually the largest one. Both teams, U.S. history, presidents is the category. He's the only president who owned a pilot's license. Name him. James. Eisenhower. Eisenhower is correct. And you've opened up a two-point lead, 14 to 12. Geography, islands, this is a matching question. Kodiak, Java, and Martinique with the nations that own them. France, Indonesia, and United States. Match them up. Neeraj. Kodiak is the United States. Martinique is France. Java is Indonesia. Those are the correct matches. Very good. Sports history for both teams. Name the decade in which the first Iditarod sled dog race was held on its present course. James? The 1970s. 1970s. It was 1973 to be exact. Opened a bit of lead here, 16 to 12. Science, astronomy, the most dominant of many craters seen on the moon is, a, is accompanied by spectacular rays. What is the name of this prominent crater? It is not the Sea of Tranquility. 
Mustang's chance to steal this a science astronomy category. The most dominant of many of the craters on the moon is accompanied by spectacular rays. What is the name of this prominent crater? Tycho. Tycho is the name of the crater. World history for both teams. This new world leader bankrupt his country and fell from power in 1955. In 1973, he became president again. Name him. Time on that. Juan Perón. Juan Perón. General knowledge for both teams. Once blood was drawn, this event was supposed to be officially over. Am I talking about kung fu sparring, soccer, dueling, or bare knuckle boxing? Dueling. Andrew, it is dueling, yes. U.S. government for both teams. Which U.S. federal agency is responsible for the regulation of noise pollution? Andrew. The EPA. It is the EPA. Classical music for both teams. How many Brandenburg concertos did Bach write? Crystal? 11. He did not write 11. Blue Valley North, chance to steal this classical music category. How many Brandenburg concertos did Bach write? Ganesh? Nine. It is not nine, it is six. Six. Literature is the next category for both teams. Ken Follett's book on Wings of Eagles is based on the incident in which two fellow employees of H. Ross Perot were freed from prison in which Asian country? Oh, your age. China. It is not China. Huskies, chance to steal this literature category. Ken Follett's book on Wings of Eagles is based on the incident in which two fellow employees of H. Ross Perot were freed from prison in which Asian country? Alec? North Korea. It is not North Korea, it is Iran. Iran. Geometry is the next category. If the sum of lengths of edges of a cube is 120 inches, what is the volume of the cube? Ganesh? 8,000. It is not 8,000. Huskies, chance to steal this geometry question. If the sum of the lengths of the edges of a cube is 120 inches, what is the volume of the cube? Crystal? 1,000. It is 1,000. Good job. U.S. geography for both teams. There are eight states. We will finish this question because they have a chance to tie. U.S. geography is the category. There are eight states that border the Great Lakes. Name any seven of them. Alec. Michigan, Ohio, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, New York. I'm sorry, how many have I said I so need far? one more. I'm sorry, time on that one. You were missing Pennsylvania. Uh, it would not. It would not affect the output of, uh, outcome of the game. It would not affect the outcome of the game. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, I start to give away the answer. I'm sorry. Uh, the two you were missing: Pennsylvania and Indiana. Pennsylvania and Indiana. But with that, them not making that point on the last one, Blue Valley North has come out victorious with a score of 16 to Blue Valley Northwest 15 for the first game between these two schools this year. An outstanding, outstanding competition with both teams. Uh, please join us again here next time on Categories as we will continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students throughout the county.